Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use SharePlay that is now released with iOS 15.1. So if you haven't yet, definitely update your phone to iOS 15.1. There are a bunch of cool features that came with this update, but mainly the most important one I think that we've been waiting for is SharePlay. If you don't know what SharePlay is, it is a feature that they announced with iOS 15 that enables you to share media or your screen with the per other person on the call. So you're basically just sharing your screen, but you can also tap into like a movie show together. So the audio will play back at the same time or you'll also be able to share music together um, you have a queue in apple music with all the songs that you're playing and they can also add music from their library in that queue so you can listen to music together so there are a bunch of things you can do with shareplay i do have a whole video on facetime on ios 15 and everything that's new if you want to check that out i'll have that in the eye up top if you're curious and also mention shareplay in there so this is started i'm just going to be sharing with you guys how to share a screen how to share a tv show and how to share music and just all the cool quirks that also goes with all those so yeah let's get started with that okay so this is my dad's phone that you're seeing right now so i'm going to be sharing my phone screen to his phone screen through facetime so that's the first thing that we're going to be covering and then we'll get to more of the share play options so here's my phone and i'm going to quickly go into facetime and then just call my dad and then we'll take it from there so here you can see that I have now the FaceTime on and from this phone, I'm gonna now share the screen. So what do you do? You tap on your screen to get that menu pop down and then you're gonna click on this option, right? Let me just do that here, that option right there. You're gonna click on it like so and then it's gonna ask you to share my screen. Click on that and then it's gonna start sharing your screen. Now, if this is the first time you are sharing or FaceTiming this person and sharing your screen with that person, um, it's gonna ask you to click on allow, but since we've already FaceTimed um, and he, I have already shared my screen with him, it's just gonna automatically do that. So on this phone here, I'm now gonna tap there, but it's still blurry because I'm still in the FaceTime call. So on this phone here i'm gonna exit that call and now they have my screen on their phone okay so i'm just gonna swipe away all those windows so now on this phone i'm just scrolling and um yeah our wi-fi is not this fast as right now but it's gonna be a bit laggy but you get the gist if you want to show someone something on your phone you can easily just share your screen with them and then they can see everything that's going on on your screen and if you want to stop sharing your screen, you're just going to click on this icon up here and then the pop up down menu is going to come up and then you're just going to click again on the share play option and it's going to stop sharing your screen. So now we're back in FaceTime on a regular FaceTime call and to share movies and music, it's very easy. So I'm going to be doing that with this phone that's on the stand here. So this is the 12 Pro Max, this is the 13 Pro Max, both are compatible. So I'm just going to put this phone down and we're going to go to um, Apple TV Plus right now on this phone. So we're gonna go into TV app here and we're gonna find something to watch. So it says choose content to share play. So as you can see, I have two movies here that I can choose from. So I'm just gonna go with Zootropolis. So I'm gonna click on play here. You'll see when I click play on this phone, this iPhone is gonna say that I shared um, start to share play activity. You can see there's this little notification at the top. So I can just tap on that and then join share play as you can see here. Click on join. And now the two movies are in sync. It's always gonna be in sync. That is one of the great things. So also another thing that you might wanna know um, with share play, when I say, for instance, I wanna pause the movie, the other phone is gonna see a notification that Kayla paused the playback. So it does tell you who paused and who forwarded. So I can also say forward and then it will say, I moved the playback or someone else did. So if someone's being annoying, you'll know exactly who it is. Also a very cool feature that they have is smart volume. So that means that the person, if you're watching a movie together and someone talks, it will adjust the volume and lower it a bit so that you can hear what the other person is saying. I think that can be a good thing or a bad thing. If you have someone who talks a lot, it might be a little annoying, but yeah, so you can easily go ahead and just um, talk and then it will lower the volume so everyone can hear what you're saying. If your share play isn't working, you might not have it enabled. So you're gonna go to settings, then you're gonna scroll down until you see FaceTime. 
and then you see it has the option that says share play and just make sure that is turned on and then you can say share play automatically music and apple tv so just make sure all that is on if you're having trouble it might not be enabled so now we're going to go to music if i want to share some music so i'm just going to go with this non-copyrighted song and um, when i click on play here play now you can say see on my phone it says on the other phone, it says started 36 millimeters by Joby. So I'm gonna go into Apple Music on this phone here. And you can see here, it shows that the music is playing. Like with the TVA app, it's also gonna give you a notification on who paused music and or who played the music. You also have this queue here of all the music that's gonna be playing next. And you can also rearrange that. So I'm gonna open up the queue on this phone here. And um, I'm just gonna rearrange this and you'll see it will rearrange on the other device as well. And this person who didn't uh, initially start the share play, they can also go ahead and add music to the queue. So now if I go to the queue here, you'll see that was added to the queue um, with all the music that I started playing the first. So you can just play music together, share music, and um, really it's as easy as that. There's nothing much more to it. So that's how you share play music through FaceTime. It's really easy, and I think it's a really cool feature that they did include. So yeah, that's been SharePlay. That's how you use it, how you share your screen, movies, music, and everything. Like I said, I do hope they bring more updates and more apps to this that are compatible. But for now, we have just a few, but I'm still happy that we finally did get this update rolled out. So yeah, that's been it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And let me know in the comments below if any other questions or if you're having trouble with anything. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen, click on the playlist to see all of my other tech related videos and I was 15 related videos and click on the video to my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.